Day begins on the 1st of March and uh, almost upon us with Easter Sunday being the 16th of April. I was visiting the shops the other day and I see Easter eggs for well and truly out there. But when you attend Mass during Lenten season, you'll notice some subtle changes. The priest will be wearing purple vestments, the Gloria won't be said, and also the Alleluia verses won't be said or sung. They will remain until the Easter celebrations. So Lent, the Lord calls us indeed to come back to him. At the time, it's a time of penance, a time of grace, time of prayer and fasting. On Ash Wednesday, if you are at church, you'll receive ashes and the priest or the minister will say, turn away from sin and be faithful to the gospel. So it's a time of self-denial, a time when we indeed concentrate on works of charity and we don't have it laid down for us. We have to do this or that particular thing we have to decide ourselves, what are we going to do? Perhaps in the past, it was laid down for us, we ought to do this and that and everything else, but now you have to make, and each of us has to make our own decision about what are we going to do in the way of penance? What are we going to do in the way of prayer? What are we going to do in the way of fasting? Pope Francis is a, a great example to all of us. He tells us to be concerned for the poor, for the disadvantaged. And he's shown that indeed by his actions. We can't be complacent because Lent will be over before we know it. So we need to get moving quite now. So in the area of self-denial, look, make some decision what you're going to do. Maybe you might decide, look, we won't go to the movies this day, or we might not go to dinner out at a restaurant or a cafe. And the money that we might save from that adventure we might contribute to Project Compassion, which runs during Lent. It's a time when Caritas invites us to consider others, to deny ourselves, and to put the money aside that we may have denied ourselves for Project Compassion, where funds there are distributed to good works in Australia and also overseas. So, other things we can do. Many of our parishes are running Lenten programs. And I invite you, if there is one going in your parish, to take the time to do that. We need to have some time for prayer. And I know we're all very busy, but try and set some time aside each day if possible, but certainly during the week when we can indeed perhaps visit a church, have time before the Blessed Sacrament. You might indeed, time when we might make an effort to go to a weekday Mass. When we are at church, when we are praying, indeed pray for those who are greatly in need. There is much need for peace in many troubled parts of our world. So let's pray for those people, for peace in our time. Pray for vocations to the priesthood and religious life. To take the opportunity during Lent to, indeed, the sacrament of reconciliation, the sacrament of penance, words of Ash Wednesday, turn away from sin and be faithful to the gospel. The Lord reaches out to us mercifully. He forgives us. He forgives everything. He calls us to receive of his grace and of his goodness. So indeed, let us use that opportunity during this time of Lent. Be open to the promptings of the Holy Spirit during Lent. Lent is a journey that we do on our own. Yes, we have to make our own decisions but we journey together. So let it be a grace-filled time when indeed celebrating Lent fruitfully, we're able to then joyfully celebrate the resurrection of the Lord on Easter day. May God bless you. May this be a very prayerful and a joyful time when we indeed practice penance, prayer, and consider others. May God bless you all.